Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going over another build for this weekend's Seven Star Steptile Raid. We did use an Annihilate last week. I'll put the link to that, but it was a little bit inconsistent. A crit can really ruin your run. So we've come back with this Skaladurge build that should make it a lot easier. It's a lot more survivable. So as you can see, Fairy Terror type there with a the Shell Bell. You want Unaware as its ability, so it does mean that it ignores the upgrades that Sceptile gives itself. The moves will be Torch Song to boost your special attack, Alluring Voice to do that super effective damage when you hit your Terra. I put in Mud Slap and then Protect to stop you um, getting hit too hard when he does reset and take away your ability. Mud Slap is changeable though guys, so you do want special attack maxed and attack down and then obviously the EV splits you want defense and the special attack. So the moves you can replace Mud Slap with, so Mud Slap obviously makes the accuracy a little bit less, hoping to survive a little bit longer by taking away his accuracy and dodging a few attacks which would be good. But you can use a few other moves in here. My recommendation would be Nightshade, potentially. It is a level 100 raid. Um, it does mean that you'll be hitting it for a base power of 100. It is a special attack as well. Um, and you will have that stab bonus too. Haven't tested it out. It's just a theory. So if you do use it instead of Mud Slap, let me know. But Mud Slap is only used very early on in the raid. So the difference here is this is way more survivable. It can tank hits much easier than the Annihilate can, and it can uh, survive a couple of crits too, and you don't need Intimidate Partners. So that's a bonus for this one, so let's get into it. So, first up, uh, he will open up always with a Leaf Storm. Um, it does depend who it hits. I think we take the hit here, I'm not too sure. Uh, I can't remember this run. This is about the seventh or eighth run I've done just to prove this build works to myself. Uh, I oh know we dodged it, so Leaf Storm takes out um, that Mudstale there. So, as you can see, it doesn't really matter if you take that first hit, but it's better to not. You just want to open up with some Mud Slaps. This is where you can use that Nightshade if you want to. He will use Breaking Swipe on you, uh, which lowers your attack, means nothing, instead of Leaf Blade, which is what you want. It is a way easier attack to be able to survive the hits for, so you do want that. To constantly hit you instead that is why you don't terror too early so we open up here with three mud slaps the poisons are relevant there um, but let me know if you do use that nightshade see what the difference is also just want to make it clear here that it doesn't matter about your partners this is a crap group that I have here these are so unhelpful there's no healing there's no buffs there's no nothing um, so this was kind of why I selected this run to show you guys you just open up with your three attacks it doesn't matter until he resets your um, stats. So that's all you want to do. It really doesn't matter what happens here because he's going to reset your stats anyway and then he's going to put his shield up and reset his. Not that his matter because unaware obviously ignores all changes so that's fine. So you want to be buffing yourself up after you get through this area instead of worrying about making him go down. So we've already got our terrestrialization up. Do not use it guys. You want to keep... Uh, you'll be able to eat those leaf blades and that breaking swipe but if you go into fairy that leaf blade will damage you a lot more than what it will here continue until it resets there i think i got an extra attack off that's not always going to happen guys literally you're getting absolutely no help here from the shell bell but that will play into it later there we go he's taken down our ability so you do want to use protect because otherwise he will be at max attack and he will probably one shot you um but the funny thing is, as soon as you use Protect, he usually changes his move. So Breaking Swipe would have been fine then, probably, but if he'd used the Leaf Blade, we would have been in a world of pain, and it would basically mess up the run. There we go, he's going to steal some of your Terror Orb, doesn't matter for us. We want to start using Torch Song now until we're up plus six special attack. So obviously use this six times. I'm going to skip through here. Use some heals if you need to, uh, but this part we can definitely skip through, um, as that is just a setup, won't waste your guys' time this point here you will see that I do use some heal up cheers this is why I don't have slack off um, I don't think it's necessary I've been able to use the heal ups to power through this spot here while we work on our terrors anyway and it seems to always survive let me know though I guess you could replace that with the mud slap but then you will need to use PP up on luring voice because you'll have to be using that as your attacking move at the start which you obviously don't want so there we go he's just going to continue to use a breaking swipe or a leaf blade we're going to have another cheer here to make sure we are in the, the nice full health region before we start attacking. This will eat into it if those mud slaps for you do work and it kind of dodges a few attacks you may not need to do this. So the focus is getting up to six um, torch songs 
to max out your special attack. That is the priority here. And then you will start to be able to take him down. So I'm going to quick check here. I'm going to attack him again with it. Another breaking swipe. There's no worries on those at all. There we go. Another torch song off. I think this is our fifth. There we go. Critical hit on torch song. Pointless. No one cares. <laughs> it's not going to be helpful at all. And it's not going to give you much health back either, to be honest. And there we go. There we go. Just going to have a quick check. So we're at five. So one more torch song, guys. Making sure you're getting off that six. And then after that is when you want to go into your fairy terror and start doing a luring voice. By the way, guys, if you don't have a luring voice, you can just switch into Terror Blast because when you go fairy, it'll do the same. It has the same base power. Um, it's just easier, I guess. I don't know. It's not even really easier, is it? It's really personal preference on that one. There we go. Here we are. Finally, it's time to Terra. Go into that alluring voice with the fairy. Super effective damage. As you'll see here, it does. It doesn't go ridiculous because he's not. Um, his special defense isn't lowered, but it does do a decent chunk anyway, and you'll have plenty of time. And at this point now, you just keep using alluring voice until you win, basically. You will see here, there is a quick. See how much damage it does here. God, these take forever. Okay, so then as you can see, you will now have enough health coming back from that shell valve that you're just completely grinding through this. No worries at all now. We'll skip through to the end. So as you can see here, taking that last leaf blade, it's doing absolutely no damage to us. We still have a little bit of time. This is consistent. If you do have an Intimidate partner, this will be faster. Um, just as it kind of messes him around and he will continually try and use Dragon Dance instead of attacking you, which means you won't be as reliant on having to use those heal cheers halfway through. But as you can see, it consistently takes him down. It's actually quite easy there, guys. Goes down. We're going to catch him this time because after I did the Annihilate Raid, I actually turned it off without saving Classic. Um, and I wanted to show you guys here. So let me know what ball you guys use. Let me know if you have any improvements to this build, guys. We're slowly chipping away to getting to a thousand subs. Um, not far off now. We do every single terror raid guide. We do lots of shiny hunting. I'm working on a Nuzlocke now that, uh, surprise, I failed my first attempt. Um, BDSP, never done it before. So if you want to hear and see those things, guys, make sure to leave a like on the video. It helps out the channel and then subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.